Major Warren Lewis hopped out of his P-38 fighter plane, stormed into the command post, and demanded, Who's the blankety-blank that parked his aircraft on the runway? A tall man stood up and said he was the culprit. His name was Charles Lindbergh, the most famous pilot on the planet, and the conversation that was about to take place tipped the balance of power in the war against Japan in the South Pacific. This is the Construction Leading Edge podcast from ConstructionBusinessAccelerator.com. My name is Todd DeWalt. It's my job to help you, the construction business owner, eliminate chaos and maximize revenue in your business. We're going to get back to that story about Major Warren Lewis in just a few minutes, but I've got a couple of resources to get in your hands before we do that. First of all, if you manage a project or manage a crew or manage a business, you know that it's really all about the flow of information. Your job is to be an information broker. You need to get the right information to the right people at the right time, at the right level of detail. And wouldn't it be great if you did all of that and had a way to organize it and keep track of all those conversations? Well, there's good news. Fieldchat.com does exactly that for you. It is the ultimate text messaging platform for construction sites. Field chat alleviates what I like to call the Bermuda Triangle of information. There's this Bermuda Triangle between the field, the office, and your client where information disappears and you have no record of it. You know you had the conversation. You know somebody approved that change order. You know somebody told you this or you know you told somebody something, but you have no record of it. Wouldn't it be nice to have an organized, searchable record of all of your communications? Well, that's exactly what Field Chat does. It automatically organizes all of your instant communications by project, giving you an organized, searchable history of all your messages. And you know, if you've ever been in a dispute, he or she who has the best documentation typically wins those disputes. So here's what Field Chat means to you. It's going to accelerate progress on your job site. It's going to reduce mistakes. It's going to reduce rework, and it's going to reduce chaos, all by making your project communications more streamlined, more effective. It's going to give you time back. And here's more good news. Field Chat is offering you, the Construction Leading Edge listener, 15% off. Go to fieldchat.com slash edge. That's fieldchat.com slash E-D-G-E. Check it out. See how it feels to have communications that free up more of your time. Next, you know I'm big on systems if you've listened to the podcast. So if you want some free training, you wanna learn how to really actually solve the problems in your business, then you need to know how to get to the actual problem and stop treating the symptoms. Maybe you've built the perfect process, but I'm here to tell you that there's one deadly sin that I've seen committed over and over and over and over again when it comes to trying to implement a system or a process, or maybe it's a new piece of software you're trying to roll out. There's one deadly sin that will doom your efforts to failure, and you need to solve that. And I don't have time to get into that on this podcast, but I did put together some free training videos called Systematize Your Construction Business. It will teach you the secret to getting to the root cause, teach you how dangerous it is to treat the symptoms of a problem, and then you'll find out what is that most deadly sin that dooms even the perfect system or process to failure. You can get that at constructionbusinessaccelerator.com. Again, that's the free training video series, Systematize Your Construction Business, over at constructionbusinessaccelerator.com. Now, let's get back to Warren Lewis and Charles Lindbergh, and what was that conversation that took place Next. So Charles Lindbergh stood up and said, Major Lewis, that was me. I was the one parked on the runway. And the conversation that took place next was huge. It actually turned the tide, tipped the balance of power in the war on Japan. Let me explain. This was June 1944, and Major Warren Lewis led a squadron of P-38 fighter planes in the South Pacific. Earlier that day, he had taken off for a mission and when he looked down, he saw a plane on the ground blocking the other planes from taking off. Well, this enraged Major Lewis because the missions that his squadron flew 
pushed their planes to the absolute limits, leaving them zero margin for error. In fact, it was not unusual for planes to land on fumes or even run out of fuel on the runway when they returned. So needless to say, Major Lewis was surprised to find that Charles Lindbergh was the guy parked on the runway. He was the most famous pilot on the planet at the time. And here was the conversation. Lindbergh said this, Major Lewis, I figured out a way to save more fuel for you. If you make a few simple changes, you could save 50 to 100 gallons per mission. Well, there was some resistance from the experts who said it wouldn't work. The crew chiefs, the mechanics, the pilots, they said it wouldn't work. And as you can imagine, Major Warren Lewis and other fighter pilots, they had been flying these planes for years. The people who designed the planes, they should know, right? The mechanics, the crew chiefs, all these people, if anybody was going to know how to make these planes fly better, it would have been them, right? Not some civilian hotshot pilot. But nonetheless, they tested Lindbergh's theories. And when they did, the range went from 900 miles round trip up to 1,800 miles round trip. Overnight, opening up new targets not available to them previously. These long-range attacks made possible by Lindbergh's suggested settings stunned the Japanese, tipping the balance of power like never before. Years later, their crew chief said this, quote, If I had to name one person who contributed more to the war in the Pacific, I can honestly say it was Charles Lindbergh because he showed our pilots how to shift our P-38 airplanes into overdrive. You see, Major Warren Lewis just made a few simple adjustments, and the result was that he and his team were able to accomplish missions that were impossible before. They didn't need new engines. They didn't need different planes. They didn't need new pilots. They didn't even need bigger fuel tanks. They just needed to make some simple adjustments. So why do I tell you that story? Well, maybe you're like Major Lewis. Maybe you are operating at the limits with your business and you can see where you want to be. You can see things you want to accomplish, but you just can't quite seem to get there. Maybe you're not winning your battle. Maybe you're not winning at what you want to do. Maybe your cash flow isn't where it wants to be. Maybe you're struggling to get ahead. Your business isn't growing, perhaps. Maybe you're working too many hours, not really having enough to show for it. It could be like a lot of business owners I talk to who are either burning out or they're approaching burnout and they know it's coming. Maybe there's just a lot of chaos in your business. It's just constant turmoil. There's, there's no consistency. You have no systems in place. Maybe you're not making any money and you're wondering, why am I doing this if I don't have anything to show for it? Maybe you're struggling with anxiety or fear. You're just not sleeping and this is cascading over into your personal life. Maybe you don't have enough backlog. Maybe you don't have enough work and you're wondering, how am I going to keep my people busy? How am I going to get, how am I going to get through the next three months or six months? Or maybe you have too much work. Maybe you've overbooked yourself and you're not sure how you're going to meet your customer's expectations. Maybe you've sort of painted yourself into a corner. Maybe you're just overwhelmed from a lack of work, from too much work, from cash flow, from everything, all these balls that you have in the air. Maybe you're overwhelmed. Well, I tell you that story because it's good news. If you've been in business for any length of time, for a couple of years, then you have the pieces to the puzzle. You, you have the building blocks to the puzzle. You have some people, you have some relationships, you have some systems put in place, you have some work, you have some referrals, you have the building blocks to a successful business and you don't need to burn the whole thing down to the ground. Maybe you have some, some leads coming in, you don't have enough leads. This is good news. You just need to make a few adjustments. This is what I found after talking to and working with hundreds of construction business owners. You just need to make a few simple adjustments. And when you do that, the things that currently seem impossible will become possible for you. Just like Major Warren Lewis made a few settings, a few adjustments to the settings on his planes, things suddenly became possible. 
you too can put your business into overdrive just by making a few simple adjustments. And I want to help you get started with four things. These are four things that I work with all of my coaching clients on. These are four consistent issues, four consistent adjustments, four consistent settings that people need to work on for their business. And in many cases, this is all they need. So I'm going to go through four things to help you get started so that you can get your business moving in the right direction and ultimately have what you want. And then stick around to the end of this podcast. I want to give you around $6,000 worth of bonus content to help you really put these things into practice. And that's $6,000 worth of bonus content for free. So stick around and uh, make sure you get your hands on that. So step number one, the first thing that I found that business owners need to, to do is answer one question. What do you want? What do you want? What does your ideal lifestyle look like? Do you want to travel? How much money do you want to make? What do you, what kind of work do you want to do? What sort of people do you want to interact with? Do you want to work with homeowners? Do you want to work with commercial business owners? Do you want to do remodeling? Do you want to do custom homes? Do you want to do commercial TI? Do you want to do earthwork? What do you want? And here's something you may not realize. Somebody is going to determine what you do and somebody is going to determine how successful you are. It can be your customers, your neighbors, the competition, the government. It could be some force, but I say it might as well be you. If somebody, if someone is going to determine what kind of work you do and how successful you are, I say it should be you. And you start down that path by answering the question, what do you want? Do you want to work in the field? Do you want to work in the office? Do you want to travel one week every month, one week every quarter? Do you want to go to Europe every summer? What do you want? And that may, some of that may sound kind of pie in the sky, but I'm telling you, there are business owners, construction business owners who have answered that question and they have fashioned a business around that ideal lifestyle and fashioned a business, created a business that supports their ideal lifestyle. Because that's why you started a business, right? To accomplish something. So what do you want? This may take a few hours, it may take a few days, but I challenge you to start by asking what do you want? I talk a lot about operating your business from right to left. What is the result you want over on the right side of the page? And then let's work from right to left and figure out what do we have to do to accomplish that? How much, what do we have to do to bring in the revenue to support the income that you need to support the lifestyle that you want? But it all starts with what do you want? What is on the right side of your page? That's number one. Number two is you need to upgrade your mindset. About a year and a half ago, I found out that my website was hacked. And somebody sent me an email. You may be listening and maybe you sent me an email. And you said, hey, Todd, um, dude, your website's down. What's going on? And my website got hacked. So I found somebody they, to clean it up. They said it was cleaned up. Some, and within a week or two, the website was down again. Went through the this, this same gyration a couple of times. Finally, I got the right person involved. And I found out that these sinister hackers, for whom I hope there's a special place in hell, had installed a website within a website. They had written this code inside of my website. It was hidden, almost impossible to see, unless you really know what you were knew what you were looking for. But there were these, there was this code and these processes that were running inside my website, all designed to cause harm. And I didn't know it. And no matter what I did, it wasn't going to solve the problem until I eliminated that malware. And what I found is that. It's very likely that you have mental malware. You have things, these processes, these limiting beliefs that are running in your brain, the way that you see things, the way you think about yourself, the way you think about money, the way you think about employees, 
the way you think about success, how you deal with adversity. You have mental malware. And until you eliminate that mental malware, until you clean up your website, so to speak, it really doesn't matter what the strategies or tactics are that you pick up. And this could explain some of what you're dealing with. Maybe you're like a lot of people I've talked to who, who say things like, I know exactly what I need to do, but I just can't do it. Or I avoid these situations. There are these things that I know I need to do and I just keep avoiding it. And the answer is to clean up the mental malware. That's why I want to get some stuff in your hands and make sure and listen to the end. One of the things I'm going to get in your hands will help you with that. So that's number two is you need to upgrade your mindset. Listen, this is where the game is won or lost. The people who are successful are the people who have hugged the porcupine of self-awareness. They have worked on themselves. They've worked on their mindset, and then they have picked up the strategies and tools that they can then use. But I'm telling you, it doesn't matter how many TED Talks you watch, how many books you read, how many courses you sign up for, how many events you go to. If you don't fix your mindset, then none of it's going to stick. It's sort of like my, my brother is incredibly cheap. He's a pretty successful business owner, but he's incredibly Let's, we'll say frugal, okay? Incredibly frugal. And he still has an iPhone, like an iPhone 3, okay? Just this tiny little iPhone that's, I don't know how old it is. It's probably 10 years old at this point. And the, the folks at the Apple store have told him, listen, don't try to update. Don't try to download any updates because it'll wreck your phone. His operating system can't handle the new software, okay? He has an old, outdated operating system on his phone that can't handle the new software. And when you upgrade your mindset, it's like updating your operating system. Suddenly, new programs, new software, new skills that you couldn't run before become possible because you've upgraded your operating system. But none of that's going to work until you upgrade your operating system. So that's why it's so important to upgrade your mindset. So number three is you need to be selling your work at higher margins or at the right margins. And that's probably, that probably translates into higher margins. So that means in order to do that, you need to waste less time running unqualified leads. You need to understand that not everybody that contacts you gets an estimate. Let me say that again. Not everybody who contacts you is going to get an estimate. There's a difference between a lead and a prospect. We don't submit, we don't waste time on leads. We, we spend time and we invest our energy on prospects. Prospects get estimates. That's why it's so important to qualify our leads before they become prospects. So you need to do a better job of qualifying your leads. You need to get better leads. You need to have a good source of leads. And I'm going to tell you how you can get access to some of my best information, my best resources on one specific strategy that will help you get a consistent source of leads without having to buy ads. Wouldn't that be nice? You also need to sell on value. Stop selling on price. Stop competing on price. Stop getting it into bidding wars with yourself and sell on value. And the way you sell on value is by understanding why people actually buy. Why are people buying? And most contractors are selling to the wrong part of the brain, okay? I've talked about this other places and I'm gonna show you how you can learn about that in the contractor sales accelerator that I wanna put in your hands that I'll, I'll tell you about in a few minutes, but most contractors I talk to are going about selling all wrong and they need to change the way that they, they talk. They need to change which part of the brain they're talking to when they sell. Maybe that's you. And another great way to sell at higher margins and make more money is to upsell. If you're not upselling, then you're leaving an incredible amount of money on the table and potentially 
not providing as much value to your customers as you can. So number one, you got to figure out what do you want? Number two, you have to upgrade your mindset. Number three, you need to sell the work at higher margins. And one thing that's a little bit counterintuitive about selling at higher margins is you're going to get higher quality customers when you sell at higher margins. You'll get higher quality customers when you sell at higher margins. Then number four, you need to build your business around systems and not around people. Let me say that again. There's a pretty good chance if you're a small business that your business is built around people and not around systems. You want to build your business around systems, not around people. If your business is built around people, then it has a single point of failure. And chances are, if you're the business owner, you could be the single point of failure. So if you were to get sick, or if you were to be incapacitated for a couple of days or a couple of weeks, what would happen to your business? If your business would drop off and disappear, then you are a single point of failure. So if you want your business to grow, then you have to start thinking about building it around systems and not around people. And I learned this several years ago, a guy brought me in to run his company. He said, Todd, I want you to run my business so I can retire. And at the time he had about 15 employees doing around $4 million in revenue. And there was chaos everywhere. Cash flow was a problem. Customers didn't like us. Our employees were unhappy. Payday was a nightmare every week. It was just chaos everywhere. And I went about building systems by trial and error. I learned how to put systems in place. I learned how to get to the root cause of problems so you could actually treat the problem and not just treat the symptom. I learned how to implement systems and roll them out, actually develop them and roll them out in such a way that people would embrace them instead of resist them. I learned a lot about selling. I learned a lot about psychology. I learned a lot about leadership. I learned a lot about systems. I learned a lot about increasing crew productivity. I learned a lot about fixing busted cash flow, how to get out of the cash flow crunch. I did that for about three years. And by the time I left, we had grown the business from 15 employees up to around 50 employees from 4 million in revenue up to around 11 million in revenue. Cash flow problems were a thing of the past. Line of credit was paid off. Hundreds of thousands of dollars in the bank. The owner was able to go buy a house in Florida, retire, buy a house with cash nonetheless. And that's really why I started this podcast um, back in 2014. I realized I, I learned a lot the hard way. I learned a lot of things that don't work. Believe me, I tried a lot of stuff that didn't work, but then I figured out a lot of stuff that did work. That's why I started the podcast because I had a, a small business myself prior to my tenure at that company and it failed because my mindset wasn't right. I didn't have systems in place for generating leads. I didn't know how to sell. I didn't know how to lead people. I didn't understand everything that was wrapped around the building process. I was really good at building stuff, but I wasn't good at the business side. So that's why I started the podcast. And then that's also why I started the construction business accelerator program that I'm going to tell you about in a few minutes to share the, the, the detailed tried and true proven strategies that I used to grow this business from 4 million to 11 million, from 15 up to 50 employees. And actually in that process, the chaos went down instead of going up with more people and more customers and what you might think would be more problems, the chaos actually went down. I'm going to tell you that some more details about the construction business accelerator and some of the bonuses that uh, I mentioned in just a few minutes, but let me ask you a few questions first. I've got a few questions for you. Do you ever feel trapped or handcuffed? by your business and you just don't see a way out. 
Do you have a you know, vision or a mission for your business, but you just can't seem to get there or you don't know how? Maybe you're working a lot of hours, but you don't have much to show for it. What if you lose employees because of the chaos in your business? What if you end up losing good employees because of you? How much money are you leaving on the table every month because of the inefficiency in your company? Think about the lost productivity, the lost time. How much money are you leaving on the table? Have you ever looked at another contractor in your town and wondered, why are they further along than I am? Why are they buying new trucks? How are they building new buildings? Why am I seeing their signs pop up all over the place? What if you're not able to get the chaos in your business under control? Are you really interested in putting up with this for another year? Do you want to be in the same place 12 months from now that you're in right now? What if you work for years on this business and it doesn't work out? Who will you feel like you've let down? What would that do to your confidence if you have to go work for somebody else? Do you ever wonder, am I even doing the right kind of work? Do I have the right strategy? Am I doing the right thing? And is your business actually taking time and energy away from you and your family instead of generating wealth and supporting the lifestyle that you want? Maybe you're like several people who have told me, I know what I need to do, but I just can't seem to do it. Have you ever heard yourself say that? Well, to be honest, a lot of successful construction business owners have had these thoughts. I've interviewed and coached hundreds of them. And a lot of them, if they're honest, they'll tell me what's really going on. What keeps them up at night are questions like, what if I don't have what it takes? What if I'm doing the wrong thing? Why can't I figure this out? Am I the only one who's dealing with these issues? Man, my, my employees and their families, they're depending on me to figure this out. What will customers and suppliers and subs and my competition say about me if I fail? I know I certainly worried about a lot of these things. How about you? Well, I struggled with this for a long time. Then I realized something that I needed to do two things. Number one, I needed to make a decision. I needed to decide. I needed to decide what do I want? What do I want? And then I needed to take action. I finally realized that somebody was going to, de going to determine my success. Could be the customers, competition, politicians, subcontractors, somebody, somebody was going to determine my success, but I decided it was going to be me. I decided it might as well be me. I, I decided to quit questioning, complaining, doubting, looking out there at the competition and the politicians and the economy and the customers and blaming them. And I decided to take ownership of that. I decided that I would succeed. And I realized that if I wanted different results, I was going to have to take some different actions. So I started taking massive action. So my advice to you is the same. Decide what you want to have, decide who you want to be, and then take action. But what actions do you take? Well, I'll talk about that in just a few minutes. But let's look at the facts. Every year, there are people just like you who are successfully learning to systematize their construction business. In fact, frankly, there are more people today who do this than ever before with all the information and the tools and the resources out there. It's never been easier. Now, I didn't say it was easy. I said it was, it's never been easier. Remember old habits are not easy to change, but with what's available to you right now is frankly the best time to make this happen. Especially if you're committed to knowing how to systematize your construction business. So it works for you because more importantly, systematizing your business is going to let you have your ideal lifestyle. So think about that for a minute. What does your ideal lifestyle look like? How much money would you make? What would you do with your free time? Where would you go on vacation? How often would you travel? What charitable causes or charities would you support? Would you give more time or money to your church, to nonprofits, maybe do mission trips, whatever the case may be? How, how many, what other businesses might you start? You know, having a construction business is a good platform. It's a good springboard to other businesses. So what other businesses would you start? Maybe you've got this vision of this. You've got this big vision. You see yourself doing big things. What is that? 
Maybe it seems impossible, but what is that, what is that vision? What do you think is your purpose? Why were you put here on this planet? And how would it feel to be in that position where you're actually executing on that mission? That you're actually living that ideal, ideal lifestyle? You know, a lot of people tell me that the best part of that would be not having to worry about money, having freedom, and then the sense of accomplishment, knowing that they actually did it. And think about this. What if you had a community of other construction business owners who are on the same journey as you, all committed to creating a business that supports their ideal lifestyle? Have you ever felt like you're on an island? Maybe you don't have anybody to talk to. The only people around you who understand what you're dealing with are the competition, and you can't really talk to them. You can't talk to your spouse. You can't talk to your employees. You can't talk to your accountant. Have you ever felt like that? Maybe you've said, I, I wish I had somebody that I could talk to just to bounce some ideas off. Well, this is the opportunity that we have today. And it's why I'm so passionate about serving construction business owners. This is the reason why I created the Construction Business Accelerator a few years ago. So if you're working on the job site every day, wearing all of the hats, and you aren't sure how to make the jump to working in the office, or you're working in more parts of the business than you would like, and you'd want to work on the business, or if you're planning to launch your business and you just like to know where to start so you don't waste years, then the Construction Business Accelerator can help you. It was specifically designed for construction business owners, and it's structured to break this down into actionable bite-sized chunks and deliver to you in a way that helps you get wins while you're keeping up with everything else you have going. Here's what you're going to get at, out of being in the construction business accelerator. Here's what's in it for you. Peace of mind, knowing you're using strategies and systems proven and tested by other contractors. Less stress and frustration because you won't have to figure all of this stuff out by trial and error. Accountability to maintain forward motion on the things you know you need to do. Here's a big one. More time. More time to operate strategically on your business. More time to spend with your family. More time to spend on your boat. More time to spend in your deer stand. More time. You'll also be part of a community of other construction business owners just like you. And you will immediately start moving toward a business that will support that ideal lifestyle. Here's a quick overview of just some of what you're going to get out of the Construction Business Accelerator. You're going to learn how to systematize your business. You're going to learn how to sell on value so you can build a healthy backlog of high margin work. You'll learn how to delegate better so you can get more work done while doing less. You're going to get proven strategies for attracting, recruiting, hiring, and maintaining high performance teams. You're going to get project management secrets and hacks to eliminate cost and schedule overruns. These are hacks and secrets that I've learned from managing over $200 million worth of projects. You're going to learn how to maximize the productivity and profitability of your crews so they make you more money. A lot of people talk about time management. I'm going to show you how to create time. You're going to learn how you can create time, not just management. Maybe the most important is how to upgrade your mindset so you get out of your own way and stop shooting yourself in the foot. So these are all things that I share with my one-on-one -on -one coaching clients, but I'm making it available to you at a fraction of the cost. As a member of the Construction Business Accelerator, you'll also get access to the private online members area where you'll have get access to the bonuses, which I'm going to tell you about in just a minute. You'll get a link to join the private online community for construction business accelerators where you can ask questions and bounce ideas off other people. And this is probably also going to provide some accountability that you might need when you see other people making progress and getting wins. It's going to inspire you, maybe give you a little kick in the butt that you need to take action. Going forward, here's what you're going to get. Every month, you'll get a master class. Every month's going to have a theme, leadership, selling, creating time, growing your team, managing clients, finance and accounting. You're going to get one masterclass video where I'll do a deep dive topic on one topic, do a deep dive training session on one topic for about 45 minutes to an hour. 
For some topics, I'll bring an expert guest in and interview them. All these videos will be recorded. They'll be available to you in the members area as long as you're a member. And you'll also get early bird discounted access to the live advanced events that I'll be having throughout the year. These are live meetups where you can get away from your business for a couple of days and spend time with other members. So you may be wondering, is this right for you? Well, the people who get the biggest benefit out of being members of the Construction Business Accelerator are the people who are fed up with their current situation and they're willing to do the work. Frankly, if you're thinking, eh, it might be, eh, it might be nice, I'll, I'll try it. It's probably not right for you, okay? But if you're fed up with your current situation, fed up with working too many hours, fed up with not making the money you want, fed up with the chaos, and you're willing to put some work in to change your current situation, then it's probably right for you. Maybe you're like Matt and Katiana who learned how to sell on value, how to increase their pricing, and finally pay themselves what they deserve, is what they said. Now they're paying themselves a consistent salary. Katiana quit her job and she works full time running operations for their company. Or maybe like Thomas Andrews, who, well, both, actually, I've interviewed all of these folks on the podcast. After joining the Construction Business Accelerator, Thomas went from interviewing for jobs because he wanted to shut his business down to negotiating deals with some of the biggest home builders in Oklahoma. Now he's putting systems in place that will support doubling his company's size. Or maybe you're like Neil, who I interviewed on the podcast as well, a commercial construction management firm in Western Canada who learned one strategy that I teach, and he made a 10x return on his investment for the program in the first week. Maybe you're like uh, Ryan Hammers and Justin McCullers who build pool enclosures in Jacksonville. They thought they needed to hire a couple of more salespeople, but... By looking at their system and their process, they were able to avoid hiring people. In the first three days after learning this stuff, Ryan sent me an email and said he saved six hours of his own time and 18 man hours of salesperson time. And he actually went on to say, Todd's teachings on leadership are profound. This is packed full of great ideas, ideas that will save you hundreds of working hours and tons of money. Um, before this, before going through this training, I thought I needed two more sales reps. After leaving, I realized I, I didn't, and our office was just asking the wrong questions. I've since trained my staff on the right questions to ask in order to make sure our clients are more qualified and the work more profitable. And those strategies he's talking about come straight from the contractor sales accelerator that I want to get in your hands in just a few minutes. So if you see yourself in any of those stories I just shared and you once and for all want to have a business that works for you, then the Construction Business Accelerator is for you. But let's, let's be honest. This is not for everybody. Who won't do well with this material? Well, it's not for anyone who just wants to kind of check things out because you can't kind of systematize your business. You can't kind of commit to changing your life. Getting these types of results takes commitment. Frankly, think about it. Would, would you want to fly with a pilot who kind of knew how to fly? Or would you rather have a pilot who committed to mastering the necessary skills? And also, it's not for somebody who just wants to try it or thinks, eh, this might be a good idea. The Construction Business Accelerator is for people who are committed to doing what it takes to systematize and grow their business. If the intention and the right attitude aren't there, then this isn't the program for you. And it's probably best that you just don't join. So how else are you going to be supported through this process? Well, as I mentioned, I just added some brand new extras that are designed to make it even easier for you to get quick results, quick wins. I'm all about helping you create a construction business that works for you. And I'm determined to make this as simple and painless as possible. I've seen where people get stuck. And I've put together some bonuses to specifically answer these challenges so you can bust through these roadblocks. The first one is called the revenue maximizer, all right? So listen, if you're struggling with cash flow problems or you don't feel like you're in the driver's seat of your business, the revenue maximizer will give you the tools and the mindset to get there. It is the embodiment of right to left operation. This is a game changer for a lot of people. I've had people go through this and say, this has given me hope. 
learning how and seeing how to run my business right to left has given me hope. You're going to get this as soon as you complete your registration. By itself, this is worth over $2,000. People have paid $2,000 to get the revenue maximizer. You're going to get training. You're also going to get a template, a plug and play template that will help you set the targets that you need to hit to achieve the results that you want. And you can plan an entire year out using the revenue maximizer. Would it be nice to have visibility and know exactly what you need to do three months from now? That's what the revenue maximizer is going to do for you. Next, you're going to get the, con the contractor sales accelerator. So have you ever wondered, how do some people sell their work at higher prices? How do they keep their backlog full? How do they get all that negotiated work and repeat business that never shows up on bid boards or nobody else finds out about? What's the psychology of selling that you're missing out on? Then the sales accelerator is for you. This is where you'll find the strategies that Ryan used to avoid hiring two salespeople and um, really changed the way that they, they sell. You'll also want to be sure and watch the modules in here on Jedi level negotiation tactics and how to upsell. Would it be great to be able to pick up an additional, say five to 10% revenue on every project by upselling? Well, that's the answer upsell. You'll learn two words, my two favorite business development words on how to upsell. You're going to get this bonus. As soon as you register, this is worth about $3,000. So total value with the revenue maximizer and the contractor sales accelerator, about $5,100 so far. And then finally, you're going to get the cash flow solution. If you're tired of being in the cash flow crunch, you're going to learn about the real root causes behind your cash flow problems, how you can get to a point where you can actually enjoy looking at your bank account. Think about that. It's the cash flow solution training is worth about a thousand bucks by itself bringing the total value of the bonuses up to over $6,000. And you're actually going to get some more. You're going to get the mindset upgrade training as soon as you join. You're also going to get my leadership masterclass where you'll learn how to delegate. You'll learn about the knowledge gap. You'll learn the reasons that your leadership is falling down and how to master the art of effective delegation so you can get more done while doing less. So each of these bonuses have been intentionally created to help you create a business that works for you easier and faster. Now, speaking of being intentional, I have intentionally included a 100% back, 100% money back guarantee. This program has worked for a number of people and I know it will work for you too. But I also know there's a lot of, quote, too good to be true, fly by night, snake oil salesman people out there online, and you need to be careful who you choose from. So that's why I've included this guarantee. Try the Construction Business Accelerator. If it's not everything that I say it is and you don't feel like I've delivered, send me an email, ask for a refund in the first 21 days, and I will refund your money, no questions asked. So by now you've seen that, hopefully you've seen that the construction business accelerator gets results and it saves you time. It saves you expensive and painful learning curve, but you do have some alternatives. You could join some free Facebook groups and forums and try to wade through all the negativity and the BS and wonder if it's good advice. It could be like a guy that I talked to recently who borrowed five grand, went to a two day business seminar, went into a room with a bunch of guys in suits and listened to content that seemed pretty good, but it wasn't specific to construction. Then he got home and he really had nothing to show for it because there was no follow-up. It was just a one and done kind of a thing. You could perhaps join a Vistage group for CEOs and pay about two grand up front and over a thousand dollars a month, and then spend a month or one day a month in meetings and travel to those meetings. Or you could hire a business coach to work for you. And maybe they know construction, maybe not. Um, who knows what those cost? I do have a coaching program, but uh, maybe that maybe you're not quite ready for that yet. And worse, here's the, the, the most important cost that you need to think about. What if you did nothing at all? What if you stay stuck in your current situation? 
working too much, not seeing results, feeling handcuffed, feeling hopeless. This is what I call the COI, the cost of inaction. There's a cost either way. There's a cost of inaction. There's a cost to do nothing. Cost to your health, cost to your finances, a cost to your family, cost to your spouse, to your children, to the, the future customers that you could be helping. There's a cost, but there's another way. And when you add up all the hours that you'd spend trying to do it alone, not to mention the frustration of not getting where you want to be, well, you deserve to take the easiest, fastest route so you can finally have a business that works for you, right? And the way to get there is the Construction Business Accelerator Program. Let's talk about the investment. It's not $5,000 for a two-day seminar. It's not $1,000 a month plus travel expenses to be part of a Vistage group. It's not thousands of dollars an hour potentially for a consultant or a coach. It's $49 a month. Or if you want to get a discount, you can take the annual option and pay for an entire year up front and basically get two months for free. Think about that. You can get an entire year's worth of masterclass training, accountability, and have access to a community of other construction business owners just like you for a fraction of what some people pay for a one day or two day event or a fraction of what people pay for being part of a CEO group for one day. I hope you can see, I'm trying to make this an absolute no brainer for you. So to make the progress you want in your life, look, you've got to break your old habits. And the way you're going to do that is by taking new actions. And one of the new actions you can take is to invest in this program. I'll walk you through the entire process step-by-step step, so you too can have a business that works for you and supports your ideal lifestyle. And if you follow what I'll show you, you will make progress. And that's why I guarantee it. If you want to get started, get all the details on the construction business accelerator, go to constructionbusinessaccelerator.com slash start constructionbusinessaccelerator.com slash start. But the registration period is going to be closing very soon in a few days, maybe even a few hours, depending on when you see this or when you hear this. So there's, there's a deadline and a countdown timer on the page. And I do this so I can cater to all the new members coming through. It's like a college class. Once the registration period's complete, then everybody jumps in the class together and I make myself available to support you. If it was open all the time, it would get confusing and complicated. So the deadline to register is below the video. It's on the page at constructionbusinessaccelerator.com slash start. And as you look to make a decision, just, just know this. If you're feeling overwhelmed with trying to make the jump from the field to the office, or you're struggling to figure out how to make your business work for you, this is perfectly normal. For most of us, the biggest challenge is trying to manage all this on top of all the other responsibilities we have. Life is an ongoing competition for your time and your attention, and that's a competition that you rarely win. But it doesn't have to be that way. By making your goals a priority and having what you need to make them a reality, you can interrupt the pattern and get where you want to go. So ask yourself this, what's more important in your life right now? What do you want to achieve in the months ahead? Knowing how to systematize your construction business so it works for you will give you exactly what you're after. More time, more freedom. Knowing how to sell at higher margins, knowing how to delegate, knowing how to upgrade your mindset, they're all going to give you what you want. More time and more freedom. How long have you wanted to accomplish this for? How many times has this goal been pushed to the back burner? How many times have you said, well, we'll try it next year. We'll do it in 2020. We'll do it in 2021. You have an opportunity to do something about that right now, today. Join me and register for the Construction Business Accelerator. Go to constructionbusinessaccelerator.com slash start. See everything you've got there. Grab it. Get your spot before registration closes. And I can't wait to see you start to develop a systematized business that works for you. I will see you inside the Construction Business Accelerator. Go to constructionbusinessaccelerator.com slash start, and I will see you on the inside.